Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new, I hope you enjoyed the video and you decide to subscribe. And if you're a current subscriber, welcome back and thank you so much for your love and encouragement. Okay, so today I am setting up my Skinny Classic Happy Planner for February. Now, um, like I did last month, I used some cardstock for like the cover and that's just, that's just printed that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this glued on here. Now, these printables are from Phoenix Printable, and I will, I'll link all the Etsy shops down below that are used in, um, in this portion of my planner. If you're looking for different layouts and things like that for, um, for the Skinny Classic, there's so many. So, so many to choose from. And pretty soon I'll be making some too. Okay, now I think the only other one I needed to glue. No, that's going to wait. Okay, so on the front here, I am using throughout the whole thing, these are the stickers, sticker books that I used. Um, the February came from this one, and so did the numbers. The quote sticker that I'm about to use came from this one. And this is just, it's a scrap paper, scrapbook paper pack that I got at, um, at Tuesday morning. If you have a Tuesday morning, you can go, I mean, they have all, they have so many and they're good prices too. So I've bought several from there, but it was like a, a Paris themed Valentine's Day pack. So it worked out pretty good. I'll just put February right there. Get my tweezers. The numbers I also pulled from the Happy Memory Keeper. They're not, they don't have any 2021 stickers, so I had to pull like <laughs> individual number stickers. I'm going to run out at some point of these numbers and have to figure something else out. I'm sure I can like find some at Hobby Lobby or Walmart or something, but I keep forgetting to look. Okay, and that's it for the cover. Cute, I like it. Okay, now this one is my like my symptom tracker and period tracker and just to kind of show you I did I made this dashboard in a previous video and I'll link it down below that has like it has my key on it but this is what it looks like normally so I am just going to decorate it with a little bit of washi I'm going to use the black with pink hearts this was a skinny washi that came from Happy Planner. Oh, I hate these. I never can find where they start. Right there. Okay, so I'm just going to lay this down real quick. Hopefully it won't take me too long. So, is everybody ready for February? Can you believe it's almost February already? Gosh, next thing you know, we're going to be saying, oh my gosh, can you believe it's October? <laughs> Isn't that how it goes? I don't know what it is about getting older, but it seems like time goes a lot faster. <laughs> I wish it would slow down just a little bit. Now, last month I had put my key over on this side, so I don't, I don't really know that I'm going to put anything over there. I'm not put some stickers over there throughout the month or something. I don't know. And then I'm going to use some different washi on the part where we don't have a number. I'll put this right here. 
I want to have plenty of room to write in these boxes. Any kind of symptom I have going on, migraine, whatever, I want to write on here. And I like to kind of coincide it with my sleep and my mood tracker because that, I mean, that can affect your health. That really can affect your health. Seems like everything always wants to happen like right around like before and after my period. Oh, that ripped the paper. That wasn't supposed to happen. Now I have also been using this as a daily journal. And I've been using a free printable from Skinny Plans. And I'll show it to you in just a minute. But I think I'm going to change it up for February. I would like, rip the paper again. I would like to make a custom one, but I don't know if I'm going to have time to do it before the beginning of the month. But I'm going to try. And of course, I will share it with you guys if I get it done. I've got a new dashboard layout that I am going, it's actually going to be going in my shop. And I think I have decided that instead of Etsy, I'm going to open a shop on Spotify. It just seems like it um, saves you money you get your own domain. You're not really sharing the site with other people. Not that that's like a big deal or anything. I just, when you give someone the link to your Etsy shop, it's not a personal domain. It's just, you know, Etsy.com slash whatever the shop, you know, name of your shop is. Well, when people go to that shop, there's advertisements for other shops and I'd read an article written by someone that has a very successful Shopify um, shop. And it was basically a side-by-side -side comparison of um, Spotify and, oops, come on, mess that up. It was a side-by-side -side comparison of Shopify and Etsy and I mean with the fees and everything I think Shopify is going to be the better option and it's like a you pay a membership fee I think the base one is like 29 a, a month but when you look at it all of the fees on Etsy when you sell something it adds up. It adds up a lot. And another thing about it is Etsy can change. They can change the rules on you anytime they want. And they've done it. And it's, you know, it doesn't always positively affect your shop. So, yeah. I think I'm going to go. Sorry, my nose is running. I think I'm going to go, um, go with Shopify. And once I get it open, I will definitely share the link. Okay, my habit tracker's down here. It's gonna be planner session and journal and lettering practice. That's a big one. I did good on that at the beginning of this month and then I fell off. So and then reading time, which I still have a book sitting there waiting. I haven't started reading it yet. <laughs> okay, so that does it for this side. Now I'm just going to set this to the side. Now these, there's not really much room to decorate. I am going to put some, put a little bit of washi down just to kind of add a little something to it. Here I go again. 
I'm just going to put some down like right across the top of here. Well, that turned out cute. I wonder if I should put one across the bottom too. I think I'm going to. lay flat. Paige doesn't want to lay flat. Okay, so there's that one. And then pretty much going to do the same thing over here. Just put a little bit of washi down. I haven't really found any stickers that are small enough. I guess if I looked a little bit more, I might find some. Oh, wow, that just ripped it down the whole side. Okay, well, it didn't rip the important part, so that's okay. I'm going to put a piece down here. And I'm going to write in the key real quick but I'm not going to color it in yet my um I'm going to change up my colors a little bit from last month so okay the key let's see I'm going to use okay happy normal Sad, anxious, energetic, tired, sick, angry, <laughs> um, grumpy. insecure and accomplished you know sometimes at the end of the day would if you've gotten like a lot of stuff done and you're just feeling that <clears throat> yeah now I left one open and I didn't feel a need to add another one in January so I'm not I'm just gonna leave it open and if I have a certain emotion that I want to add in there then I will but there is that one. Okay, now, habit trackers. Again, I'm just going to put a little bit of washi across the top. Be a little bit more careful this time. And same thing on this side. Ripped it again. I think it's this paper. It's the HP Premium 32 pound paper. Um, sometimes stickers just don't work as well as it does like on your actual planner pages. Okay, let's see. Habits. Um, okay. Post. And that means posting to all four platforms. Okay, record stats. I need something underneath there. <laughs> Um, okay, let's see. Record expenses. And get my list right here where I can read it. Do a survey. Okay. 
check email. And social media interaction. Don't know if I spelled that right or not, but that's okay. All right, so that's it for that one. I need it. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. Clean kitchen. And that means going to bed with an empty sink. <laughs> this is what I've been struggling with. I want to polish one piece of furniture every day. I go through and Swiffer the house, but the furniture does actually need to be polished as well. Laundry, and then check the mail. And let's see, household chore. And an office chore. Okay. There's that one. Okay, now let's see that goes there. Now we get over to here. I am just going to, well, don't, I guess I'm going to do side, no, I'll do the X's and O's down the side. Not really much decorate decorating you can do with this one. Let's see, I'm going to go all the way down with it. Maybe, no. Don't rip. Stickers. Oh, I forgot about this sticker. It was just one I found that I like that I hadn't used yet. It says, so it turns out being an adult is mostly just Googling how to do stuff. True story. Okay. All right. And I didn't have a whole lot of stickers. Just, just wanted to put down here basically says love my life and sometimes I love my life and sometimes I don't <laughs> okay so that is that one now this because I wanted to have another piece of cardstock at the back so these are going to get glued down on here let's see I'm going to put that one like right there And then this one is going to go at the bottom. I'm do it this way. Makes it a little bit easier. And that's just for me to write down, like, you know, kind of maybe some goals for the month, some things I want to get done. And it came out of this scrapbook pack. I just cut it out. And a couple of stickers. Cut. It says, live simply, dream big, be grateful, and give love, laugh lots. And then this was another one that came from the... Um, the scrapbook. It was a sticker that came with this scrapbook. Scrapbook pack. I'll get it right. Okay, now I need to just punch them and pop them in and we will be done. Come on. I'm going to do 
these two at a time. Make sure I have them. Oops, see, almost messed up. Since this is cardstock, I'm gonna punch it separate. I punched a little bit through the stickers, but that's okay. All right. Now let's pop them in there. Now I did come in here and I put I did start my dailies right here, and I didn't like that. I want all the monthly stuff to be all together and then have my dailies like in the back. I'm going to leave the, I'll put the period tracker to the back of this. So I just put a piece of cardstock on that and rewrote that sheet basically um, in another location. And I will move the dashboard over here once I am, once January is finished up. And that's it. So yeah, so then it just flows like straight from the January stuff straight into February. And just do a quick little flip through. And I really enjoyed using it in this format this month. It worked out really well. So I am probably gonna continue with this. And then right here it goes into all of my daily sheets which I'll probably have to take February out of here because it's getting a little bit thick or take January out and put uh, the sheets for February in. And just to show you what they look like from Skinny Plans, they're like this. This is the morning check-in and then this is the evening check-in. And I really like it. I want to do something kind of similar, maybe with some different prompts or something. I'm not sure, but I kind of wanted to get everything on just have the whole day on one instead of having four or two pages instead of having four pages so I'm gonna work on that and that is it for this video so coming up we have I've got to get my personal budget set up and then um, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this week and then we'll have all of the plan with me this weekend and then I'll be doing a flip through of my January after the pen and before the pen and then also close out January's budget for my business and get everything set up for February so that's what we have coming up if you have any questions or comments I love hearing from all of you just leave them down below and I'll get back to you within a day or so you can also find me on Instagram Pinterest and Facebook those links are down below and they're also on my channel page don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell if you'd like to receive notifications that's all I have for today. I really hope that all of you enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.